Epstein-Barr virus is a virus related to the herpes virus. This microorganism is best known for causing an infectious disease called mononucleosis, known to many as the kissing disease. Through your boyfriend or girlfriend, however, is not the only way to contract the virus. It can also be passed via a shared utensil or drink. Unlike the flu or common cold, for instance, the Epstein-Barr virus is passed through direct contact and rarely is transmitted through airborne paths. This means that direct contact with the saliva of an infected person may result in the contraction of this virus, potentially causing the onset of mononucleosis. However, this does not mean that the only way to contract the disease is by kissing someone. It can be as simple as sharing a soda or using the same fork as a friend who is infected with the Epstein-Barr virus. I don't know how I'm going to stay awake in this class. The teacher talks like Charlie Brown. Yeah. Well, anyway, I have this new energy drink. It's been helping me stay awake. You can try have the rest of it if you want. Thanks. Big mistake. If you ever feel sick or have a reason to believe you are becoming sick, you shouldn't risk spreading the disease to others. So what are we doing this weekend? Well, it's Halloween, so I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of parties and you can dress up, I can dress up. Yeah, I can wear that Mickey Mouse costume from last year. I can be that T-Rex, it's just like... Come in! Hi, Mary. Hi. My name is Dr. Graves. I'm going to be your doctor today. Um, actually, if I could ask you to step out for just a moment. It's okay. He's my boyfriend, so it's fine. Okay. I'm afraid I've actually got some bad news. Your blood test that we took earlier came back positive for mononucleosis. You may begin to feel some fever, slight headaches, uh, a little fatigue. Um, there's really nothing that we can do for you uh, medicine-wise. We are going to put you maybe on some steroids, um, but really your best bet for getting better is just to drink plenty of fluids, rest, and take some aspirin or ibuprofen for headaches. So you have mono? You know where you get that from, right? Kissing other guys. I didn't. Whatever, I'm out of here. Oh, shit. oh man, I'm really thirsty. I think I forgot something to drink. Yet. Another mistake. Even if you are not displaying symptoms, it is never a good idea to drink after one another. For this is how diseases like mononucleosis are spread. Thanks. All right. See you later. Later. There is no cure for mononucleosis. Doctors can only treat symptoms. The Epstein-Barr virus itself stays within your system for life, lying dormant. 
Symptoms have been known to reappear during times of stress, but after about five months of occupation of the body, mononucleosis will subside and you will be virtually symptom-free for life. I think I cut off your head, though. <laughs> 